Hey folks, Brett, Justified Defensive Concepts. Gonna take a moment and talk to you about trigger control. Some things we see a lot of students do that they shouldn't. A lot of students, when they start to articulate that trigger finger, they move it from the top of the hand and you can see those bottom three fingers generate quite a bit of unintentional, unintentional motion. That's that classic low left for a right hand shooter. What we really need to do is only move it at the mid knuckle and we see we mitigate a lot of that unintentional motion. Here we can see it on the gun. We come to a prep trigger, we build straight back, reset prep. When we see that shot break, there's really any motion. When we reset prep, there's some motion that doesn't matter in the reset. Again, mid knuckle only, straight back, reset prep, mid knuckle only, straight back. That's some good guidance on trigger control for a semi-automatic pistol. Um, stay tuned, we're gonna review some good guidance for a double action revolver. Hope to see you on the range.